Well, serving up some food for thought while getting a chance to meet local leaders. That's what San Diego's Catfish Club was all about. For decades, it was a go to gathering point for diverse groups to get together and tackle tough topics over a meal before its final get together in 2016. During this Black History Month, News 8's Heather Hope tells us how it got started. Here at Christ United Methodist Church, more than 50 years ago, the Reverend George Walker Smith kicked off the Catfish Club right from the basement of the church, which started off as just an informal, amazing meal, transformed to a diverse meeting of the minds. Serving up food for thought, San Diego's Catfish Club kicked off in 1970 by a fireman, postman, and a preacher. Here's a group starting with three people who have kept this thing together, addressing the social, political, economic, and educational issues in this community. Founder Reverend George Walker Smith held the informal luncheons inside the fellowship hall of his church, Christ United Presbyterian, a titan in the community as he was the first black person elected to office in San Diego, joining the Board of Education in 1963. Reverend Smith tackled tough topics at the dinner table. We want to put forth a major effort in San Diego to try and get some kind of gun control. The fish fry meetup swelled into a one-stop shop for politicians, business owners, and civic leaders. It's one of the few gathering places where people who don't necessarily cross paths during the course of their daily lives have a chance to get together. You could be sitting next to the sheriff or your city council member as there were no assigned seats. And it's a warm, warm camaraderie and the food is great. String beans and all this soul food and people come and pay $10 to eat and it was every Friday. Gaidi Finney of the San Diego African American Museum of Fine Arts says the Catfish Club was the go-to gathering for newcomers. I went to the Catfish Club every week when I first got here to get to know everybody. And hundreds of community members showed up weekly for decades digesting the deep conversations that spilled well over the noon lunch hour. Because it was at lunchtime and my dad used to say, don't worry about your job. If you, if you get, if you, if they give you trouble for coming in late, tell them to call me because it would, they would always run over. It wasn't just an hour. Reverend Smith's daughter, Carolyn, says the Catfish Club was her father's joy who always made people smile. That's my strat, making people laugh, laugh at themselves. The Catfish Club ended in 2016. Reverend Smith passed away in 2020 at age 91, but his legacy lives on. I think that's the biggest thing that he leaves with a lot of people is that he led with his heart. Leaving nuggets of history that got started over catfish. Heather Hope, News 8.